Hello friends. In this little video I want to talk about stacking the pucks because I see sometimes people are maybe don't have the uh, exact uh, proper way to stack the pucks and though it may seem kind of uh, maybe not that important, it really is important and it's good to do it the way that it's suggested to do. Uh, so let's talk about it and let's pretend start by uh, if you're sitting at the board and you're keeping score or being the jury to someone who is playing, they've just finished their first turn. Here's the setup. These are the ones they've got in and here are the ones that are out. Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the player has no more pucks to shoot. Uh, and the way you do that is you look at them, make eye contact, and then the basic signal for I, I have no more pucks to shoot, I've shot them all, is for the player to put their hands up like that. In other words, all the pucks have been shot. Uh, when you get that signal, or you're assured of that, uh, you send the, these that are still out here back to the player so that they can stack them and prepare for the second turn. Uh, but that's important to make sure. Now you're going to stack the pucks. On the sides, you stack the pucks to the outside. There's one there, and the one, there's three. They should be all the way to the outside wall. In the center, the four should be on the outside and then stagger to the inside. The pucks are stacked four high. Uh, the reason they're stacked four high is because the fourth one will stay in. The, the, uh, the borders are protecting it. If you were to put a fifth one on, it would slide off and end up on the floor. So the fifth one starts a new stack. That rule goes for every one of the pockets. Now, let's say the second turn. And then uh, you also want to make sure that there aren't any pucks hidden along uh, the far uh, uh, compartment. Sometimes when you're sitting at an angle, you might not see a puck in here, so make sure you check for that. All right, the player shoots the second turn, and then let's see. They get a couple more here, and they get more there and there. And let's say they get a couple more four, so they have a pretty good second turn. Now return the ones from, uh, the, so the player will have those for the final turn, and stack these. So on the outside, Four, four, in the center, seven, and six. Outside here, outside here, and then stagger to the inside, outside here, outside here. All right, the third turn. They get a couple here, they get a couple here, and they get one here. Let's have to say this one is in, and that's the end of the turn. So we've got a few pucks left over, not in. All right, so the game is over. Now you're going to tally up the score. You're going to mark down the person's score on the sheet. But first of all, you want to confirm with the person what the score is. So in this case, they have 4 plus 2 here. Now these stack would be to the outside. On the, on the sides, the 2 and the 1, it's outside. The second stack is also to the outside. Here, to the outside, to the outside. And then in here in the middle, it's outside and then staggered to the inside. And that's the proper way. Uh, so the score in this case would be 6, 7, 7, 6. Six complete sets. Looks like that. 120, a 4, and a 3, 127. You would confirm that with the person you're keeping score for so that they understand and they agree with your scoring, and then you'd mark it on the sheet and give it to them for the next uh, or give it to the next scorekeeper in line. So just a couple uh, of pointers about, about stacking the pucks and keeping score. Thank you.